So, it's 2023 and you want to start learning Unreal Engine. Great, fantastic, it's a fantastic time to start. In this video we're going to talk about the best marketplaces, websites, and other resources to help you on your journey. This video was originally recorded live on my stream and you may notice a couple of audio hiccups. Also, stay tuned. In the middle of this thing, I'm gonna give a little tip on uh, something that I think might help you out a little bit in your journey. I'm gonna talk a little bit about how we learn as human beings and how that applies to the engine. A couple of things up top before we dive into these resources. First off, this is really important. For all intents and purposes here, UE4 is basically UE5. They're basically the same thing. So if you come across any tutorials for Unreal Engine 4 and you're looking for something for Unreal Engine 5, then um, go ahead and just use it. It's probably good most of the time, unless you know it's an Unreal 5 specific feature. This video is primarily about tutorials. There's some really good Unreal learning resources and there's good places to find them, but how do I find the good stuff? So if you know specifically what you wanna do, write down that vision of the idea because eventually you can use that to decide if the learning that you're doing actually matches what your goals are. If your goal is to make a VR game, then maybe it would be helpful to find tutorials on VR stuff, but maybe it would also be helpful to find tutorials on just some basic game mechanics. That way, when you have your vision, you can start to collect all of the puzzle pieces of all the different tutorials in order to make bigger cohesive web. Epic Games has its own online learning portal that exists attached to their website. You can make an account, you can log in, and you can check out a ton of different posts about all kinds of different Unreal Engine related topics. This is a great place to start with a couple of caveats. The thing about learning stuff from Epic is that they tend to go deep on a subject versus cursory knowledge of something specific that they want to cover. This can be seen on their YouTube channel. They have a YouTube channel as well, where typically they'll have experts come in and they'll kind of all sit down on a couch and deep dive a specific subject. And it's sort of the same thing in their staff level tutorials that are on the learning portal. Now these used to just exist by themselves. In the old version of the learning portal, you just had these specific courses you could go through. Now they're kind of posts and they're not just staff posts, but they're also community posts. So there are posts from Epic and from the teachers and educators that work for Epic. And then there are also just YouTube videos that people have re-uploaded now. This was a big change that came with Unreal Engine 5. And I think it's great in some ways. I found it hard to find stuff that I had already used before, but I think I maybe just need more time with it. If you're starting here, these tutorials can be really great. At one point as part of a learning program that I was doing, I had to learn a bunch of stuff about the way the real-time engine processes things through the deferred rendering pipeline. There are courses on the site specifically about how Unreal Engine puts images on the screen. The people at Epic who put together the staff level tutorials, they're great. One great example is Matthew Wadstein, and if you've ever looked for help with an Unreal Engine node with Blueprint, you've found his tutorials before. He actually works at Epic as one of their educators. If you're looking to get started and you're the kind of person who wants to learn the fundamentals, I can't recommend Epic Online Learning enough. You already know that YouTube is a fantastic place to learn because it's probably how you found this video. YouTube's kind of a mixed bag when it comes to learning Unreal because you'll find some people who are beginners who are just trying to make their beginner tutorial who are kind of reposting those basics. At the time of this recording, there's plenty of room for a lot more great educators to step in. However, some of them absolutely have. I wanna just name check a couple of people. I could make a whole entire other video on great YouTube educators that you could subscribe to. Right now, I'll keep the list short. Evans Bowl. I'm not sure if I'm saying his name right. Unreal Sensei, and of course my friend Riku VR. The list goes on. Uh, William Fauché is a great person to learn rendering from. Jonathan Winbush covers a lot of different cinematic techniques in Unreal. Everyone's coming to Unreal with a different set of skills. So you'll find people who are just focused on the sequencer side or the cinematics or, you know, how to make renders in Unreal. And there are people who are focused more on the game side of things too. Charlie from Prismatica is an amazing teacher who talks a lot about shader work, but then also does a lot of great animation blueprint tutorials as well. And I always love to recommend his stuff too. On YouTube, there's some really wonderful gems, but then there's, you know, plenty of clams alongside the pearls. The trick with YouTube, I think, is to just keep incorporating little bits of things that are helpful. YouTube is like a great place to continue to like add knowledge, but it's not a great place to start from scratch. Let's talk about Udemy or Udemy or 
Udemy. Everyone says it differently and I have no idea. I, I call it Udemy. If YouTube is feast or famine, Udemy kind of cranks that up a notch. So I find that Udemy courses tend to either shoot really high or really low. You will find some of the best tutorial content right next to some of the worst tutorial content. I've downloaded Udemy courses that were really not much better than just watching a YouTube video about the subject. I've downloaded courses where like an instructor was basically just like downloading some marketplace assets and just kind of touring them and showing them to people. And I have friends who've also told me their horror stories about stuff that they got off the site that wasn't great. So that being said, there is some good stuff there. A lot of people immediately on Udemy find tutorials from gamedev.tv. A very long time ago, I did buy their Blender tutorial and that's how I started using Blender. And I thought it was pretty good. So that's probably worth a shot. They tend to find pretty qualified instructors and it seems pretty good. Chat's recommending the one that they have on Blueprint. So that's great. So Udemy is always having a sale. Every single day you check out the site, they're having a sale. That's not a bad thing, but if you're always having a sale, you're kind of not really having a sale. You just have sale prices all the time. Some days the sale prices will be better than others, but most of them are in the like five to $15 range. All right, so if you made it this far into the video, I wanna talk about how we really learn things. We as humans are communal creatures. If you really wanna learn how to make games or you wanna learn how to do anything in the engine, you wanna find other people who are like-minded. Finding a space like that, a community like that, people who are builders, people who are trying to make cool stuff, that will help significantly. So not all of these courses are cheap. Udemy usually is between five and 10, 15 bucks, something like that. While Epic has an amazing free learning platform that you can go to, they also have certified trainers. You can go to specific schools and end up paying, in some cases, pretty large sums of cash to be able to get into more intensive training programs that are set up to be qualified by Epic to be able to run these courses. And I have mixed feelings about this. The one factor being time. So if you're getting full-time access to teachers and staff, that costs a lot of money because they got to employ those people and stuff like that. And at the same time, so much stuff is free if you're a pretty good automatic learner. For some people, that's probably not a great use of money. Before we wrap this up, I want to talk about a couple things. I want to talk about supplements. So first, I want to talk about Reddit. The Unreal Engine Reddit is actually pretty good. I see a lot of people post there and I see most people actually getting responses on whatever they post. Epic has their own forum available with the Epic Dev community. But oftentimes I Google things, find a forum post, and no one has answered the person's question. And it's my question too. Also, Discord. There's a lot of great Discord groups and servers that you can join that are really helpful for learning Unreal. Epic has the Unreal Slackers community, which is by far the biggest. It has a ton of people all working on Unreal Engine projects, and it seems pretty great. I tend personally to get a lot more out of small discords. If you're interested in our Discord, I think we strike sort of a happy medium. It's not too big and it's not too small, and I've seen so many people get help there, including myself from time to time, and it's just, uh, it's been fantastic. There's a couple places left that I don't use too much, but I still wanted to talk about. Uh, ArtStation Learning is a thing. They have courses there available online on ArtStation. Uh, you can also check out Flipped Normals. That's another website uh, some people in my chat recommended when we were recording this. There's another site that you might think is cool if you're a visual effects artist called Rebelway. They have a lot of Houdini tutorials, but they do cover Unreal Engine as well. My friend Jesse made this amazing like force field tutorial thing, which is totally free on their site, which you can check out and it looks amazing. So hopefully those help too. If you're really stuck, there are so many different places to go. There are so many different ways to start learning Unreal and I think it's pretty easy to pick up. So if something is stopping you from starting your journey, give it a go. You can also check out this channel. I make all sorts of content about Unreal Engine, but also about how to use it for animation and for live motion capture, like you're seeing right now with my VTuber avatar. And uh, some weird unhinged game dev stuff. 